Hey guys, it's your boy Cole and the Arca Sadara Elephant Beast Tribe has been launched with patch 6.15 and I'm here to give you a get started quick guide to this Beast Tribe quest. We're going to be talking about how to unlock the Beast Tribe, what a Beast Tribe is, how to do your dailies and some of the awesome rewards. And rest assured, this is definitely, definitely content worth doing and I'm going to be doing a lot of it. First up, let's define what a Beast Tribe even is, because I know that we have a ton of newer players that came from Endwalker that are like, what the absolute hell is any of this insanity, and why are we helping these crazy anthropomorphic elephants? I mean, you gotta give some respect where respect is due though, elephants are pretty rare for some stuff. Beast Tribes give rewards, and some of the rewards are really nice, like cool mounts and minions and music scrolls and housing items and much, much more. If the past has been any indicator, we can look forward to some very tasty treats here. But if all of that sounds like trash to you, they are just really great experience for leveling up jobs. In particular, these elephant people are great for combat jobs in 14. You don't really want to take black mage through raids, you don't really want to take it through dungeons, you know what, I can respect that, <laughs> then you just do them here. These are going to be similar to the Pixie Beast Tribes from Shadowbringers, who are even in my leveling guide for Endwalker where I leveled quite literally every job from 80 to 90, in like literally under two weeks and no i kid you not check that out in the video i was still using the pixie beast tribe quest from level 80 to level 90. the beast tribe rewards are hot they're very hot paris hilton would be like that's hot but the problem is that the rewards outside of the experience are gated by a beast tribe reputation that is like a bar that you level up by doing those daily missions more on missions in a moment here but as you level up your beast tribe reputation, bam, new housing items, bam, new mounts, bam, bam, look over there, bam. <laughs> as well as you slowly unlock even more diverse options to do and build up after, and you like literally build up your little beast tribe city. It's actually kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. So there's aesthetic choice. Mm, yeah, I, I don't know if they made the right choices. Now let's talk about missions, which are going to be the bread and butter of beast tribes. These are the main driving force that drives the content. So beast tribes, when boiled down, are daily missions. That's what they really are. But far more restricted, for better and worse than some other games dailies. People coming from World of Warcraft probably know exactly what I mean. <laughs> so with this beast tribe, you get three daily missions per day to complete, up to a maximum total for all beast tribes of 12. But for a single beast tribe, you get three per day to complete. And the footage that you have in the background is me running through them as soon as the server's unlocked to get that extra daily lockout because, well, I, I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> I have a work day in a few hours and I'm like, oh fuck, how am I going to perform? <laughs> Scrum meeting is going to be fascinating. That would be good content, but <laughs> I am so stupid. <laughs> but I should note here that there is a single caveat to that. Every time you upgrade your Beast Tribe reputation to the next rank, you can get an additional three quests that you can do for that Beast Tribe. That doesn't mean that your limit of all Beast Tribes having a maximum of 12 that you can do across all the Beast Tribes gets changed, but you can now do three that you have every day, plus another additional three that day, just for ranking up. Which just translates into some days you can progress six different missions, which really feels really, really good. You're getting the currency, you're getting the experience. But actually, let's talk about that for a minute. You're going to be getting from each of the missions a Beast Tribe currency coin, or whatever shape that it wants to be in, that you can trade in for the rewards as well as the experience. That is how it is all done here. That is the initial starting point here for the reward system and those special currencies are only for that particular beast tribe though so don't show an elephant a pixie thing because they're gonna be like get out of here with that pride <laughs> why are you showing me this fairy ass currency <laughs> Elephants are just like, what? So yeah, in summary, knock out at least three missions a day and level jobs and loot the elephant corpses. Wait, excuse me, so wait, someone's calling me. Wait, these elephants aren't that kind of NPC? Oh, oh sorry, Bahamut may have actually just eaten a few, it, 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 only a few, no one will notice, right? It, yeah, uh, Shoot, I, I, yeah, I don't think no anyone will notice those Arkasadar that they're just gone. I just hope Bahamut doesn't have a stomach ache after that because, good lord, you thought Taco Bell was bad. Oh, that's gonna be one of the highest <laughs> DPS skills. Definitely 9,001 potency from that. Damn, I thought casting Ak Morton was bad. <laughs> Luma Age's feculent flood ability doesn't stand a 
You know what, it's like 3 or 4 in the morning and like the insanity setting is, so I'm sorry. So now let's get into how to unlock this beast tribe. Diarrhea aside, first of all, you need to finish the Endwalker quest. The second step is that you need to complete the quest A Budding Adventure, but if you search your minimap, you're probably not going to find it if you haven't had a bunch of other side missions. There are going to be a total of 8 side missions that have been divided into 2 major side mission quest lines with four side quests per quest line. So the first quest line begins with the quest the stepchild and Thavnir X 25.6 and Y of 36.1. You might have done this if you got an Aether current. Then likewise that's gonna have three quests after that. The second quest line begins with the quest What's in a Parent at Thavnir X of 29.2 and Y of 15.3. Complete those eight quests and you will eventually get the quest A Budding Adventure from Yuzan at X of 29.6 and Y of 17.2. And with that done, you have all the unlock requirements done. With the requirements done, let's talk about how to actually start the Beast Tribe quests. And so the Beast Tribe location, which is specifically in Thavnir X of 20.4 and Y of 28.4, here you're going to be starting a small series of quests beginning with the quest hippos born to run i said it before and i'm gonna double down and say it again i'm not a string of words that i expected to say but you're gonna be starting that quest by talking with kankana at thavnir x of 25.3 and y of 31.2 and take you an absolutely um through a riveting tale of glory magic adventure and conquest that i definitely totally thoroughly enjoy <laughs> promise when you complete all of that stuff you are going to <laughs> be landed at the point where you have unlocked the ability to pick up beast tribe quests and access the beast tribe vendor this is going to be standard practice through all the years and expansions of 14. i'm not going to cycle back through all of the details that i gave earlier in the timestamp about beast tribe introduction and fundamentals but the too long skip that timestamp and bullshit version is you do about three quests a day get a beast tribe currency and get experience and call it a day also no worries guys if you use the timestamps i myself just to clarify because i have gotten this comment sometimes is i myself type it out and use the timestamps myself when i'm viewing other content creators and that's why i do it rest assured i got you that as a viewer of youtube myself i hate when people don't use good timestamps not calling anyone out but damn i hate that shit i just like respecting people's time i like when my time's respected so i like yours too so with that that really wraps up this introduction to the arcastara beast tribe and i hope that you all found it informative and helpful fingers crossed <laughs> i didn't stay up till four in the morning for nothing right I, I, it, trust me with monetization i ain't gonna get much money at all for this but my main focus is like does it help you so if this helps you let me know if it did and what you're most excited for in the comment section down below or like what you're excited for potential rewards i haven't like checked out any of the rewards i don't do that on this channel but let's say maybe you just really like elephants see i mean it admission time here this is going to be a this is going to be a confessional oh holy quad father please forgive me but i'm more of a jacked werewolf bodybuilder kind of guy and <laughs> I get that some people like some trunk. You know what? If you like some trunk, I can respect it. I can respect it. Okay, my stupidity aside, anyhow, take care everyone and be well. I'm about to die in my bed because, ooh, good lord, it is so early in the morning. I'm going to be absolutely fucking dead tomorrow. Peace out. Oh, wait. I'm not allowed to talk about the elephant personas in my video and say how they're rare. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, shit. They're, com they're coming to cancel me. Oh, fuck.